Hey everybody, it's G again. Today I'm doing a long training ride preparing for my upcoming tour, but I'm doing a vlog highlighting just a 21 mile portion of it on the infamous South County climb of Hazel Dell. In this ride, I'm going to do kind of a sewing niggle or figure eight like loop and do both sides of the climb, which is affectionately referred to as the double dell. I don't get to ride out here that often and I'm very excited today because I used to live nearby here and this is one of the best roads in all of the area. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. So it starts on Browns Valley Road for about two miles and it's this beautiful sort of false flat country road. It's a quiet road with lots of farmland, mostly apple orchards. I was about two weeks uh, early to catch the spring blossom, so I highly recommend trying this road late March to see the apple blossom. It's beautiful year-round, though. This is the last bit before you start heading into a dense forest, which gets really green and vibrant. In the winter, it can cool off a lot. Right around spring, March, and April, the temperature is not as cold, but it's basically like a fridge when you get into these woods in the winter. You climb through Browns Valley and then stay straight and the road becomes Hazel Dell. You climb more on Hazel Dell, but it's still not too bad, not too steep at all. On top of the climb, that was sweet. This climb is really refreshing because I normally do these hills that gain about a thousand feet and I love them, they're beautiful, but they tend to be steep at the top. Whereas this climb has got a longer, more even quality to it, which is really nice as a break from these climbs that have false flat and then a really tough mile to the top. This is one of the greenest meadows in the whole county. It'll stay green sometimes till July. Usually things brown up in April and May around here. About to do the downhill, there's a plateau at the top, which is nice for either refueling or putting clothes on. Downhill's bumpy, I'm not gonna show it to you, but take my word for it. You wanna take a careful line and don't take unnecessary risks. There's a nice little vineyard right as you approach Mount Madonna Road, which is an awesome climb. I'm gonna vlog that at some point. You continue the downhill on Mount Madonna Road. There's a flat bit between the two sections of downhill and the Mount Madonna downhill is steeper than Hazel Dell, but it's wider as well. Well, I'm on the little gradual climb of Wheelock Road now. This is going to help me loop around and do the back side of the dell. One thing I noticed is that I think because of the creek and just maybe the nature of the forest, it's a deeper, greener redwood forest than the climbs that I normally do, which are also redwood climbs. There's a different quality to all these different roads and forests, even though there's a lot of similarities as well. And then you pop out in this gorgeous farm area, still pretty wooded, but a lot more rural and agriculture based. Really pretty. Nice tropical plants as well. climbing the backside of the dell at this point. Technically I'm on Mount Madonna Road. The backside climb is in phases. You have like a mile long false flat on Mount Madonna. Then it kicks up for a quarter mile. That's the steepest part. And you bear left onto Hazel Dell for a half mile rest before a solid grind to the plateau. The plateau in this direction is a little bit rolling uphill but it still gives you rest and a good chance to fuel and or get clothing on it's pretty empty up there too so you can stop for a pee break if you need a lot of diversity on this road all kinds of different plants tropical subtropical pretty soon it's all red
Well, top of the second climb. Wasn't too hard. Wasn't too easy either. If you're doing this road at the end of a long ride like I've done many times, it'll really test you. But ultimately it's just really sweet. It is in worse condition than I've seen it before. I haven't ridden this since my Santa Cruz tour in almost like eight months. But it's also such a quiet road. You can take a good line most of the time. You'll see like a couple of cars. It's really nice. Not sure if you can see it, but the flume of that wild turkey is open and it's flaunting its feathers. So amazing. Trying to get home quickly to Caitlin and Jonah uh, while still putting the miles in, of course, but I had to stop at this area. I think this is Caitlin's favorite spot. I'm gonna drive this to sightsee as a family. And here's these wild turkey. It's just so unbelievably green in here. And the creek is very tranquil as well. Well, leaving the redwoods, popping out into the apple orchard again. And the ride so far, a little windy, a little cloudy, quite humid actually, and very beautiful. So I'm gonna refuel at my folks' house, get some water, maybe some fruit, and then tackle at least one or two more smaller hills on the way home.